Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. This is a production of YouTube channel Learn Learnorama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in HiDev. In this tutorial we are actually learning about um, how to delete uh, data from a file and this is a continuation from the previous tutorials. If you haven't watched those tutorials I would recommend that you do so as soon as possible before you continue on with this tutorial. Um, so this is the part three of the tutorial. Uh, we are in the process of writing the f program that reads from a file and the f this is what the file looks like. It contains a whole bunch of n names in it and we are trying to get rid of or delete the name Joe from this file. As you can see it is it occurs or it, it appears in this file multiple times at, at different locations and we are trying to get rid of it. So here is what we are writing the program. Uh, we also learned in the tutorials before <coughs> before um, this tutorial we learned the algorithm that we are using here to actually delete to delete the um, <coughs> the those uh, those lines from this file. So <coughs> right now we are we are in the middle of uh, where were we? Okay, here. Yeah. So we are actually, this is how the program looks like right now. We are reading from a file. We are opening a file. We are reading one line at a time in this while loop. And then we are checking, we have to, we are trying to say, okay, if the line is not equal to Joe, we are, if that's the case, then we put that line because this line needs to go back into the file. So we put that line into a buffer, which is, you know it's a buffer in memory and we put it there ptr is the pointer where which points to the last look to the next available location and as we put that line into into that wherever the ptr is pointing to inside that buffer we actually increment or move that pointer to the next line so it's very simple uh, code right here and 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 this particular code is you know at the end of this while loop when we'll exit out of this while loop where we when we get here we will be done processing the entire file and the buffer will have all the names except joe now the question is that how do we determine this how do we do this if line is not equal to joe you would think that you would write something like this if line is not equal to joe but unfortunately again you cannot do that because line is an array you know it's a string but it's an array of characters and you cannot in C you cannot compare arrays like this okay so what do we do again we will need some function that could do that just like you know a function str len will give you the string length and the function str copy will copy the lines uh, the, the copy from one string to another string we need a function that will compare two strings and fortunately there is a function like that and that function is called str cmp okay a string compare a string compare how how do you do use it it takes two parameters the one is that you know string one the other one is string two and simply you know if you give these two strings it will compare these two strings and what does it return to keep things simple we will say it returns zero if they are both of the strings are same it returns a non zero value actually it returns a a positive value if str1 is greater than str2 let's let's not worry about it, it returns a non zero value if if uh, str1 is not the same as str2 this string is not the same as this, this string. If both of them are same, it returns zero. Okay. So what do we do? What is our first string? Our first string is the line, whatever the line that we just read. We have to see if this line is Joe or not. Okay. And what is the next string? Joe. Okay. Very simple. Now remember, f get s reads lines from the file and it also leaves the new line characters in whatever you know in if it encounters new line characters it will leave it in there inside line now if it read joe from this file here there will be a new line character at the end of joe 
of the word Joe and it will read Joe with uh, and put it in line along with that new line character now if you will compare a line with Joe it will return false even if it says Joe in there because at the end of Joe there is a new line character here so we have to compare it against Joe backslash n we have to compare it with Joe and along with the backslash n okay so this will be the true comparison that we really want to achieve here right if a string compare now if the strings are the same then it returns zero but we are looking for if the line is not equal to Joe or is not the same as Joe okay then we have to do so what do we do we are looking for not equal to zero which means that if they are not the same okay as I said if the strings are not the same it returns a non-zero value so we are comparing it against not equal to zero okay so this whole condition will be true when line will be anything other than Joe and at that point we have to basically copy that line over to wherever the pointer is pointing to inside that buffer and so on so at the end of this while loop now we will be pro we will have we would have processed the entire file because this while loop will stop when we will reach end of file okay so when we will exit out of the while loop at this point here we will have the buffer will have all the names except Joe because we never put Joe we put all the names except Joe you know we put all, everything into the buffer for as long as it's not Joe but if it is Joe then we skip it and we read the next line right now here the buffer is ready it's the same as the file except that it's not the file so what do we do very simple we close the file first because this file was open in the read mode we reopen the file okay after closing the file we are going to reopen the file what is the name of the file abc.txt okay comma in what mode in write mode because now we are going to write the entire buffer onto the file okay onto this file we are going to write the entire buffer so we open this file in the write mode we have to write the whole buffer into this file so what do we use we know that to write anything on the file we have to use so far we learned about fprintf and how do we have to write fprintf takes the file file pointer first and then we have to write it as a string buffer how many strings just one because remember this is what it looks like something like this okay and this starts from here and it every string where does it start wherever the string pointer is pointing to and where does it end the string ends when the end of a string character is found what is the end of a string character it is actually zero and remember we initialize the entire buffer with zero and then we kept on writing the names on here so here there is no zero here after Larry so a string doesn't stop here so Frank no zero Kelly no zero and all and so on until we will reach the last name that we just put in there okay which will be from this file it will be Kim and then after that there will be zeros because we initialize the entire buffer to zero so everything else is zero so the first zero that we find after that that will be the end of a string so this whole buffer is like just one string so we print that string the entire string into the buffer so the whole buffer is gonna go into the f into the file right sorry we print the entire string into the file so the entire buffer is gonna go into the file and then oops and then we close the file F close P file that's it so it's very simple so let's run it let me uh, let me close this and I'll press F9 there we go it ran what is the output no output because we never printed anything on the string uh, on the screen so where did we print we printed right onto the file so let's check check abc.txt again so I'm gonna open that file again and look at this this file has the names all the names except Joe Joe was deleted from that file the same name of the name of the file is the same still the same abc.txt that file has the same names 
that it had before except June. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please rate it, um, you know, give it thumbs up. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man.